Welcome back to Up Close FYI. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right, so today we're going to talk about the different acting techniques. We promised that we would give this to you, and here we are to tell you what it is. This would be us explaining to you the differences between the techniques that are commonly used in acting, and specifically out here in Hollywood. Ready. Let's start with... Should we start with Stanislavski? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Konstantin Stanislavski started in Russia. Russia! And his <laughs> ideals were... So within his technique, it started off using emotional recall, which pretty much is you're taking something that personally happened to you, in your past, and you're using that uh, to help you get to a particular place in the scene or what's happening with your character. And he found that that was um, pretty damaging to the actor. And so then he went to using? He went to using uh, physical action. So <laughs> physical action is where emotions are triggered using basically physicality. Right? So you're able to get to where you need to get to um, by physically placing yourself or physically doing things within the character versus emotionally um, putting yourself in a place that you've lived in before. Yes. People who were big on this was uh, Lawrence. Sir, Sir, Sir Lawrence. Lawrence Olivier. Olivier. Method acting, Lee Strasberg. Mm -hmm. So Lee Strasberg believed completely in emotional recall. Like I said before, with emotional recall, what you would do is you would sit and you would think about a particular situation that happened in your past. It's supposed to be seven years or, or, um, or yeah. prior, or seven yeah. years or more. And whatever was happening, whatever your want was from that particular situation that happened in your past, you use that to get the want that you want in your scene. Uh, so that's pretty much his technique. Method acting, uh, there are a lot of actors who swear by it and then there's actors who, who do not like it because it touches so deeply in your physical. Um, so a lot, some actors, uh, refrained from using method acting because they felt like it either didn't serve them emotionally um, or it just took them too far deep into a place that they that wouldn't allow them to perform the way they they would want to so you just need to know for yourself what can you handle and what's um, what kind of works with the way that your brain works mm -hmm. It's uh, dangerous. We're making it sound so dangerous. I know. It's like, ooh, it's scary. Do you yeah. want to reach this? I will say, though, there are some amazing performers who have used this this technique and um, mm -hmm. has worked for them, you know? But you do need to go in understanding, okay, I'm going to use this technique. I know where I have to go with it. Mm -hmm. And I know the process that I'm going to have to take to kind of come back out and, and, and yeah. come into reality. So just to kind of let you know, a couple of famous people who swear by the Lee Strasberg method are the method acting. You would have uh, Al Pacino. Marilyn Monroe. Alec Baldwin. Angelina Jolie. Oh, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. Mm -hmm. um, Dustin Hoffman. Oh, Dustin I just love Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. Um, and James Dean. Stella. Uh, I love saying her name. Stella Adler. <laughs> Stella Adler. <laughs> There's this famous quote where she actually told an actor, made the actor cry, and said that, You have no soul. That must have been fun in class. That must have been. <laughs> you imagine to have someone tell you, You have no soul. You have no soul. So with Stella Adler, she also studied with Stanislavski, just like Lee Strasberg. And what she realized was um, that Lee Strasberg had it all wrong. She was just like, 
absolutely not. Emotional recall is crazy. It's detrimental to the actor and that is not how actors should approach their craft. So first and foremost, she believed that actors should be um, independent. They should be creative, well-rounded. Um, and um, yes, they should true. always live from their own personal point of view. She also strongly emphasized the use of actions. So if you happen to take acting in college, you know, they, they really go over that. There's that whole book, the actions book. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the actions? I think yeah. most actors have it in their like actor book library. She was really big on actors using their imagination. She felt that an actor should go about using actions to get what they wanted in their scene instead of playing on the emotion like what the emotion was of your particular character, you know. No, she's like, to, to get what you want, you need to have your particular actions that, you, that you're that you doing, your tactics, mm -hmm. if you'll say, right? Yeah. Yeah. So an example of that would be to abandon. To abandon or to abolish. Let's see. To navigate. Some of the famous actors that are known to you, Stella Adler, are Robert De Niro, Benicio Del Toro, Mark Ruffalo, who I love, <laughs> Melanie Griffith, and she's also very adorable. Yes. Next, let's talk about Meisner. Meisner! Meisner! I'm a fan of Meisner. I am a fan of Meisner. And um, fun fact... We met at a Meisner Conservatory. <laughs> so Meisner's technique, he believes in using different exercises. Um, one of the most famous exercises that most people know is that... I like your shirt. 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 Meisner 101. <laughs> 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 and really what it's about, right, is just to get you to listen, mm -hmm. right? Because it's not about the words. It's about what people are saying behind the words. Right. It's how they're saying it. It's the underlining meaning, Your right? The intention. The in, yeah, the intention mm -hmm. behind what you really mean, right? So you can be saying, I like your shirt, but really you're saying, like, I hate you. <laughs> the thing about Meisner, right, is he believed that um, you should never, ever use something from your past personally what you would do is you would take some, uh, let's say, a real person that's in your life that you have an emotional connection with, and you would put them in imaginary circumstances. And you would use that to kind of help you get to the emotional place in, in your scene. That's, that was his whole technique. Mm -hmm. It's using substitution, but substitution with imagination. Where versus, you know, with Lee Strasberg, you're using substitution based on something that really happened to you um, and of a real situation with real people in, the, in that real situation. Um, Meisner, it's real people and substituting the situation into an imaginary um, situation. And that way you get to always make it fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're never like pulling on the same thing. You can always like change it up because it's your imagination. It's endless. Yeah. Yeah. So some famous people who are known to use my Meisner would be Robert Duvall, Grace Kelly, Diane Keaton, mm -hmm. who is so funny. I love Diane Keaton. Gregory Peck. Mm hmm. Um, I like to use it too. And I consider myself famous. That's a good one. <laughs> Sabrina Purcell. Sabrina Purcell. So now we would like to talk about some other techniques that are not necessarily taught in like your average like university. I feel like Stanislavski, Stella Adler, Lee Strasberg, and Meisner, Meisner yeah, are all. like your base, right? They're your grandparents. They're your grand, yeah, they're like your they're, grandparents yeah. of of acting when it when it comes to more realistic um, acting and. 
then you had people who had come up with techniques as an offset to that. So now we're going to talk about Michael Chekhov. Michael Chekhov was Anton Chekhov's nephew and Stanislavski's star student. Mm -hmm. And within his technique, he pretty much focused on... Which he developed his own technique. Yes, he developed his own technique. Mm -hmm. And uh, his technique focused on mind and body and, um, and the conscious awareness and of your senses. Mm -hmm. Some of famous people who have used his technique would be uh, Clint Eastwood, the fabulous Anthony Hopkins, uh, Helen Hunt. Hold on, hold on. Anthony Hopkins needs a pause. Oh. Okay. Jack Nicholson. Mm. The oldest playboy ever. <laughs> Another person that uh, was actually really big in New York is Uda, Uda Hagen. Hagen. Student of Uda Hagen. <laughs> <laughs> so Uda Hagen, she based herself on realism um, and truth. Mm -hmm. Everything had to be within, like, really living in your performance. Um, everything had to be real. So if you used a pen, you needed a pen in your scene. If there was, you know, a bat, like everything needs to be, uh, you had to create the scene in essence. Uh, she also was a big fan of substitution. A few actors who came about from the Uta Hagen, um, especially in New York, Matthew Broderick, mm. big stage actor. Yeah. Uh, Sigourney Weaver. Jack Lemon. Ooh. And Amanda Peet. Amanda Peet. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Warner Laughlin. Um, both of us have actually studied at Warner Laughlin. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed this technique. I yeah, like this technique. I would have to say so. So yeah. do I. Um, to me, so it's like I. the safest technique, actually. It's also really fun. Uh, so with Warner, you uh, it's completely imagination based. Completely, completely, which is awesome because yeah. if you don't want to use any personal experience, you can kind of set up this character uh, for yourself. It's it actually starts from like three to eight, and and she believes that from the ages three to eight is where you create your basic human emotion. Everyone has like a basic human emotion that drives, drives them. You. It drives yeah. them. So you're either driven from a need based or a fear based. And that's kind of what drives everything that you do as a person. So that's kind of how you build your character. And in regards to what's happening in the scene, um, or let's just say like a, an entire piece, movie or whatever, um, it's completely from what's, what's given in the script. So you're never ever using, you know, um, anything from your real life. You completely just dive into the character that is given on the script. Mm -hmm. So um, I happen to really enjoy it and I find it really fun. So some famous people that study Warner Laughlin would be like, us. No. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Adams. Um, oh my God, what's her name? What's her name? Julia Roberts' daughter. Um, um, niece. Emma oh, Roberts. Emma Roberts. Seen her there. <laughs> also, Penn Badgley. Yes, he's in that new... Uh, oh yeah, that mm, Netflix show. Yeah, yeah, I actually watched it. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. Actually, I'm, bad. I'm bad. It was good, but it was, it's, it's, it was like... It looked like it was scary. Is it scary? No, no, no. Okay, because you know, I don't do scary. No, she doesn't, which mm -hmm. is ridiculous. She won't even, <laughs> she won't even watch anything do that remotely has to do with being scared. No. Some other famous people would be Ryan Reynolds. Nikki Deloche. We love you, Nikki. Bye. <laughs> and Zoe Deschanel. Yes. So that's just the a good amount of uh, techniques that people use out here in, um, in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I said in our last video, what a lot of actors really do is they kind of study at a bunch of different places. So then you kind of have all of these techniques in your back pocket and you can use them when necessary. Mm -hmm. yeah.
That's pretty much, I feel like, what we've done also. Because mm-hmm. um, there are times where one technique works perfectly and then it doesn't. Yeah. So then you're like, oh, shoot, what do I do? You know, at the end of the day, the director just cares about getting the job done. The outcome. Yeah. So however you get there. However you get there. Figure it out. Figure it out. Um, these are just like tools to have in your toolbox so that you can figure it out. I hope this was helpful. And uh, what we will do is in the info section, we will put based on each individual technique, we'll put the schools that teach those techniques. So, yeah. Until next time. Thanks, guys. <sighs> That's right. That's your sign off. That's my sign off. It was a little different, but. <sighs> she added a. When you don't open up. A, <laughs> when you open up a soda. <sighs> Till next time.